What's interesting to me about that, just from a, a, a kind of process perspective, is I suppose there are many decisions that could be made in court or legislatively that, if taken to their extreme, could lead to an abortion. They might not even be health insurance for medical cases, right? I mean, you could say, for example, if you're required to provide any benefits to a full-time employee, if a state for law, for example, passes that, well, that might eventually, three or four steps down the road, lead to abortion. But uh, it isn't that is it just my impression or does that feel like a reach that he's yeah. now making this an abortion case I, I it's definitely a reach I, I mean Hobby Lobby tried to make this into an abortion case because they what's at stake here is whether or not an employer can refuse to cover birth control in their employee health plan which is something they're required to do in their by law there's nothing about abortion in the law this is about birth control Hobby Lobby tried to make it about abortion because they claim that several forms of birth control that are, co are covered by the law actually are forms of abortion, but they're wrong. They're not forms of abortion. And in fact, there's a brief from, uh, several, uh, from several medical groups explaining, no, 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 these, birth these forms of birth control, they have nothing to do with um, eggs and planting in the, in the uterus. They have nothing to do with anything that someone could reasonably describe as an abortion. What they do, in most cases, they prevent ovulation. So, you know, not an abortion.